So based on that, what are the conversations that these guys should have when they go back to the office and they're interacting, whether it's with the CEO, what is the type of conversation that needs to come to the fore? I think you look in the mirror and ask yourself, do you think the money you're spending is actually driving what you want to happen? Like flat out. And then once you answer that for yourself, if it's yes, then you move on with your way. But if it's no, then it's either the internal MMM, the CEO, the CMO, the board. Like who are these humans that are forcing a framework that makes you spend money in a way that you as a human who've been empowered to spend it doesn't believe in? That has been the most interesting thing for me. That is, as you can imagine, knowing my narrative, when you come from family business environments or a startup, now it's different because the amount of sheer venture capital money in the system has changed it. I would say startups now act way more like corporations. They're not doing what's right for the business, they're doing what's right for the next round of funding. So it's become, that's why I stopped investing four years ago, it became no different than this. But, you know, look, I, I used to think I was smart sitting up here with you. Now I realize that more than half the people in here 100% will agree with everything I say, but internally, if they were to spend all their money on influencers or pre-roll YouTube or Facebook videos, it wouldn't score. It wouldn't score. It wouldn't be accepted. And that I have to have empathy for. That's no different than looking at Claude and Eric and realizing there's certain things they do within VaynerMedia that they know I will score or the machine will score a certain way, thus making their behavior go in a way that may not be exactly 100% what they believe in. That's the reality. It's just the sheer amount of waste in a 2019 world where the attention actually is, is so staggering, which is why we've seen such a decline from the biggest brands in the world in market share. It's very large. The declines are very real. You know, just in, it's just, it's happening. And so people will rest on the cogs or the infrastructure that they have and then slowly but surely there'll be innovation and you wake up one day and that, and what you assumed was your leadership role is eliminated because there's so much money in the system right now that allows people to innovate in a way that we haven't seen before. So, so based on what I apologize saying, real quick, yeah. but let me give you an example. I was just thinking about airlines, right? Like, like rockets are coming. Like, like, you know, like I'm super pumped to go to Hong Kong in three hours. Like, you know, like it's not something that won't happen. And, uh, you know, and so I think that when the private sector gets into air travel, like it has in the US and other parts of the world, it just becomes a matter of time. And so it just, you've just seen this in the history of, like the railroads had a big advantage. Those tycoons made a lot of money. Like everybody's day will come. And I think the most practical thing to do, and this is why I started this company, for myself, for my future businesses, in a day when innovation will come and create a vulnerability, the number one thing that is feasible, instead of running home and saying, let's start a rocket division, is not spending a million dollars on print ads in 2019 when nobody goes to page 213 of a magazine. 